All right, get ready to get schooled or scolded if you're me, probably. As we head into the warmer summer months, there's a really good chance you're wearing sandals or flip-flops, and it's a great way to keep your feet cool, but a pretty bad choice for driving. Let me just say, I already know the rules. Today, Tony takes a look at the worst shoes to wear when you're behind the wheel. You'll see why I know. If I took you for a ride and I was wearing baseball gloves on my hands, you'd think I was crazy. And you'd be right, because the obvious problem is that there's just too much stuff between my hands and the wheel to keep things under control. Well, when you're driving, the same principle applies to what you're wearing on your feet. These snow boots are an obvious bad choice for driving because they're so bulky, you could easily catch two pedals with one foot. Of course, you're probably not wearing snow boots in June, uh, but you might be wearing these. Flip-flops, slippers, slides are all bad news behind the wheel. As easy as they slip on, they can slip off or get stuck under the pedals. In fact, flip-flops can double the time it takes to move your foot from the gas to the brake. Next up, wedges and platforms. The problem here is the big clunky soles put way too much distance between your foot and the pedals. They're also unstable and make it hard to tell how hard to push on the brakes. And you may have worked long and hard to score those beautiful Prada pumps, but the narrow heel can get stuck in the floor mat and makes for an unstable resting position that could slow your reaction time in an emergency. Now that's not to say they aren't absolutely gorgeous because they are, but if your footwear faux pas solution is to just kick off your shoes and drive barefoot, turns out that's a bad idea too. Bare feet can't generate the same force or friction on the brake pedal as a good rubber sole. They also leave your feet unprotected in case of an accident. And just, ew. So if you wear women's shoes, keep a pair of flats with a sturdy sole tucked safely under your seat for when you're driving. As it turns out, most men's shoes make pretty decent driving shoes, but these are my favorites. They're light, have a grippy sole, and I can still pull off a nice, clean heel-toe downshift. I'm Tony Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon. And a shout out to my fabulous shoe. <laughs> uh -huh. The one yeah. and only. Brand Look new that. career for her now. You know what? It's a good reminder. I mean, I, th I think Tom we... McCann on line one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really cute picture of you, oh, Kim, well, by the way. You. I think it's a... We kind of know well, this stuff. It's a great reminder. It is a great and reminder. I will say, I think everybody drives in all kinds of shoes. Yeah. Yeah. But but where it really makes a difference is like an emergency stopping situation. Right. That's when you notice it. You can drive along probably fine yeah. in any kind of footwear. But if you have to really get on the brakes quickly, unexpectedly, yeah. that's where some of these shoes can be really problematic. I can't tell you how many dress shoes I've torn up. Yeah, because so the they scrape the, the back, the back the end of the heel. Yeah. So that's another reason. Good oh, reminders. I love that, though. Oh, oh, great I'm, job, footmodel. I wear wrestling Thank shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those would be great driving shoes. I know, yeah. I know. It's, I think that's what the race car drivers use pretty much yeah, is like, like wrestling that, shoes. Yeah.